All right, guys, so let's just get started. Go into your app store and you're going to download this app called MetaQuest. From here, just look it up in your app store. It doesn't matter if you guys are on your phone or tablet, just download the app. I'm only showing you my tablet just because it's bigger, easier to see. So you're going to open up the app called MetaQuest. Once you do so, I would suggest is not continue with email or even with your Instagram. And if you don't have a Facebook account, create one. If you have one, you want to keep it more private and that's why you don't want to use it. I would just suggest creating another one. So that way you can just use that one for your MetaQuest. This is just to avoid any problems. Trust me, just use Facebook. So go on and choose your first option. Once you do that, you're going to see this. Just click on continue. Then it's going to ask you to create a new MetaQuest account. Once you click on create new account, you're going to see this. So just go on and click on yes and confirm here. It's going to ask you which email you want to use. So we're definitely going to go on and use the email from our Facebook account. So just tap on the first option, then tap on next. From here, just tap on create account and change anything that you need to change. From here, you're going to see this. Just going to next username. Then from here, it's going to ask you to create a username. So just scroll down a little bit and put in your name. This is the name that you want people to see you with. And then we can just choose a username down here below. Once you do that, just tap on next. And from here, you're going to see this message. Just tap on continue as whatever name you guys chose. From here, it's going to load up. All right. So next up, you're going to see this. So you can choose to share or not share. We're just going to choose to share in this case. And right now we're going to be pairing with the MetaQuest 3. So tap on the first one. So if you put on your headset right now and you continue on with the whole setup, it's going to give you a code. So you can scan, by the way, you can use a QR code to scan this app, or you can go out and enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. So right now we're going to put that we already connected our headset to our Wi-Fi. So that's the option down here below. Right now you can choose which horizon profile would you want. We're going to put it as public confirm. These are things that you're going to share. We're going to accept and continue. Then from here, just tap on next in the bottom. We're going to put in not now at the moment, and we're going to create a MetaQuest pin. This has to be four digits and it can be really easy or really hard, whatever you guys want. Tap on next after you do that. And it's going to look for your headset. So right now, put on your headset and you're going to see five digit code. Um, for some of you, if you haven't turned it on, make sure to turn it on. Once you turn it on, again, you're going to see that five digit code as you go on with the whole setup. It might ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. Um, maybe not. Maybe you guys did the scanning thing, so you're good to go. But you should see that once you put on your headset. For some of you, and actually most of you, it's going to download some software updates. So you see those lights that are turned on. And you see the fact that you might not be able to connect. It's, just, it's doing that. It's downloading those updates. Once that's done, we can continue on. So it's okay if you don't see those codes right away and it's just not hooking up just let it download and you can only see that if you're wearing your headset by the way you're going to notice that all the way on the top just look up a little bit you're going to see that it's downloading updates now since your MetaQuest is doing an update it's recommended to charge it up even if the battery is okay it's a brand new headset so that's why we have to plug it in especially when running any updates so make sure to plug it in some electricity so that way you can just charge it up and once it's done with the update, it's going to play a sound anyways. So you don't need to wear your headset at this point since it's running that update. So we're just going to plug it in and then it's going to charge up. So now my headset is hooked up some electricity. So how do I know my headset's charging? Well, usually you should see a light here. Unless your headset is restarting right now because the update, it's okay if you don't see a light right away. But you should technically should see a light right here. That would mean that it's, it's charging. Everything's working like it should. So there's a lot of updates happening at this point, which is a good thing. And you might notice that you got something here, a screen saying that it's updating your controllers now. That's okay. You want everything to be updated so everything works properly. Just don't touch anything for the meanwhile. So usually this would ask you to put in a code that you see on your headset. For others, it's just going to go right away and detect the code by itself. And all you have to do is just untap on allow. So we're going to tap on allow, headset paired, and that's it. So again, some of you might even see the, the code, but you won't have to type it in. Others might have to type it in. It's fine either way. Usually, if you're hooked up to internet, you're in the same Wi-Fi thing, then it should pair by itself without a need for a code, although it might ask you for one anyways. So right now, just tap on close, 
tap on allow and you're all set right now just go into your headset and just finish up with anything download any apps that you guys want you guys can download them from here you guys can go into the store and download them from the app itself but you can do it from your meta quest as well at this point i would say just go into your meta quest and just do everything from there you don't need to do anything else from here from within your app all right so at this point you should see something like so if you're wearing your headset just use this to point so i'm using this right here you guys can see it and you just have to point at it then click and there you go just confirm your door your floor so you just do that by doing exactly what it tells you right there just pretty much touch the floor once you've done so press and confirm draw a boundary this is very important don't go too close to your walls or any furniture i would actually keep a good distance from your walls so at least 60 centimeters let's say once you've done so tap on confirm and there you go reset your view you can go ahead and reset it well it's going to teach you how to reset your view and all that stuff just continue on make sure if, since you're a new user to look at everything this is telling you so we're going to press that button right now and just follow throughout everything and you're going to see what it does and everything that it does but right now you're pretty much all set up right here you're going to see this um you can share or not share i'm going to choose to share and like i mentioned before you can start downloading apps you can do everything from within here you don't need to do anything else you don't need to for example go into your app if you don't want to or you can just go into your app on your phone and you can finish anything from there that you want to do, like download any apps or anything like that. But again, from here, you guys can go on and do everything. Uh, each game will have basically a tutorial of how to play it because they're all a little bit different. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.